Hi, and welcome to my channel. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to be a creep and record strangers in the most inconspicuous way possible, so far, with the Ray-Ban stories. I've had them for a couple weeks now, and while they're a lot of fun and very convenient, I'm not sure who they're for. I don't see the average person spending $299 to have a pair of sunglasses that also do photo, video, and also have speakers within them, whenever everybody has a phone in their hand or pocket. At five megapixels, these are also at least half the pixels of most phones. When I purchased these, I also purchased a pair of regular Ray-Bans, and the build quality of the stories feels very plasticky and cheap. In my testing, I took them out for hikes, bike rides, and running errands, and they were a lot of fun and convenient to have. The point of view takes a bit of getting used to. One of the things I could wish I could disable was the music playback. The speakers are usable, but not very good. Often when I would place the sunglasses on top of my head, I'd accidentally hit the right spot for them to start the playback, which is fine, you can just hit it again, unless you're listening to Kia's 2002 seminal classic, My Neck, My Back, at a family function, at which point that's embarrassing. Up until now, I left all the footage taken as square, which is a weird ratio since Reels and TikToks are where it's at, and this is them scaled for YouTube. Ouch. These videos look like they were taken on my friend Carla's 2004 sidekick, but as square as they serve their purpose. I never ran into any issue of not having enough storage space. I was often offloading the videos and photos onto my phone, which you can use the Facebook app. I like how the case was the charger and it held several charges in it. I never ran into an issue where the sunglasses weren't charged and ready to use. I don't think these are priced well for the everyday person who wants to just capture content on the fly. And they're also not for somebody who is interested in quality video. They're enjoyable to use and the video stability is shockingly good. I'm sure in the next iterations they'll be great, but right now they're not priced for who they're best suited for. That's my honest review and thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.